Hello friends! In this video I thought I would give you an update on the progress of the Hoover Room. Let's check it out. So what I thought we'd do is we just have a quick scan around and see the progress that's been made on the Hoover Room. Uh, as you can see this is all very much as it was. So we have all the turbo powers over here and we have a high power compact just sneaking in. There's our turbo masters, more powers at the back and more powers there as well. Uh, if we come down here and move around, we have more turbo powers on the top here. And just to say, we just go back to the window. Um, one very clever person said, you, you need to be careful because uh, the sunlight will fade the bags of those turbo juniors and actually that is a really really good point and i hadn't thought of that so i think what i need to do is to put some cardboard on the window um, and just to just to make sure that no uv light comes through to uh, to ruin the bags on those turbo juniors that that would be horrendous um, and then down here we have some more modern machines we've got the one and we have a couple of vortexes so that that vortex there, um, you would have seen in the um, video of it, it's got a broken chassis. But I have a solution to that now, so we will be popping a new chassis on it at some point. Uh, later Junior, Sprite, High Power Compact. Now over here, we have that uh, Hoover, what was it? H3C300. I've been using this um, quite a lot actually, but the problem with it is, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, and I did mention it in the video that I did, that that cyclone unit just blocks up all the time. Um, and it just blocks up the cat hair because the cat runs around like a maniac, shedding everywhere. Yeah, the cyclone just blocks up with cat hair and it's a real pain, but yeah, anyway. Um, then we've got these couple of ranges here. Now these two are, well, the 4104 has been sold. My friend John has bought that. And the 4002 is currently on eBay. So they'll be gone shortly, um, and I have made some changes over here. So um, we've got this smaller section of, um, oh, what do you call it? Shelving has been moved over here. It was over there, but now it's over here. And it's got three these three turbos on it, which are like a, a, at a jaunty angle. I thought, wow, well, let's make it jaunty. Why not? Um, but it does mean that there's space underneath for more Hoover cylinder cleaners. I just have to find them. I don't know where they are, which is quite funny. And in this box here, this is a genuine Miele box. I don't know if I can show you. Can I show you easily? Oh yeah, if I swing you over that way. There you go. It's a genuine Miele box, and I put my prototype Miele S7000 in there. So that's all nice. Um, and then the main change is I bought another shelving unit to go here where that one used to be. Uh, and now this one has like all these machines in it. So we've got the um, <clears throat> amazing original Turbo Power 2, the, the Hoover Lifetime, and the slightly later black Turbo 2 there. Then in the centre section, oh, there's a tape measure just there. That shouldn't be there. We have Sensatronic System 500, the Vogue, and Sensatronic Audio 300. And uh, up at the top, we now have the Hoover Spirit, the Galaxy, and the Module 900. Now back over here, if we go round to the top again, we have Sensatronics up on the top of the wardrobe. Systems 1, TS40 and TS50. What's behind there? I think that's, a, oh yeah, that's a System 2. And then Sensatronic 1500S there, which is really yellowed. I'll just bring you around so you can see this one. You just see how yellowed that is. And yeah, that that ooh, is the color it should be. And you can see the color it is. It's absolutely horrendous. These white machines, they really do go off something awful. Then we come back round. We just have a final look at the top here. We have a boxed compact at the back and three more turbos up on top of the wardrobe there. And there we go. That is an overview of how the room has turned out. I'm really pleased with it, actually. I forget how many shelving units I bought, quite a few, and I have all of my wonderful children in this room. And I can come in here and I can sit down with a nice glass of wine and I can take it all in. 
Um, obviously that Mila needs to go because that is not a Hoover, so it shouldn't be in the Hoover room. <laughs> um, and we also have, of course, the fabulous rug here. And uh, the Sovereign has just fallen off. Let's put that back. Stay, stay, naughty Sovereign. So yeah, there we go. What do you, th what, what do you guys think? Do you like it? Um, do you think it's cool? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's a nice use of a room? I am very, very happy with it. And uh, I'm sure we'll come back in here to look at it again when I have found some cylinder machines to go on that shelf there. So there we go. That is uh, a tour of the Hoover Room as it currently stands. Um, hopefully I will see you guys soon. Thanks ever so much for watching this video. Don't forget to do the usual, commenting, subscribing and liking because it really helps me out and I appreciate it massively. And as always, love to hear your comments on this room and um, its contents. And um, yeah, that's it for now. Until next time, see you soon. Bye.